Welcome to the Voice of the Coast. I am your host, Zanika Long. With me, we have Beth Chasson, who's the president of St. Mary Chamber of Commerce. This is now her second appearance as president of Chamber of Commerce. And let's just get right into it. I mean, the Chamber of Commerce, um, I know there's lots of things that you do. I'm part of the board. <laughs> However, you know, what is the purpose for those folks who are like, well, should I, should I not become a part of the chamber? What are the benefits and what is your purpose? Well, we have quite a few benefits, but I'll go into our purpose first. And our purpose is really to help bring economic development to the parish and improve the quality of life uh, by, by way of helping our member businesses progress in their individual space, whatever that may be. Uh, so we offer promotion and marketing opportunities, of course, through sponsorships, to improve your visibility within the parish and in the community, uh, all the different events that we offer. We do networking opportunities and educational uh, opportunities for people to come and learn different things. We try to cover uh, different subjects and plan for what's really needed in the community. So right. just to name a few things. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I definitely want to talk a little more in depth as to what those things are. But <clears throat> I think over the past couple of years, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say necessarily since you've been in all, you've been in that position, the idea of what the, the chamber does, it's kind of been lost over the couple of those, of those years. Um, how are you trying to maybe reel people back in and say, no, this is what we do and this is what we can offer you? So we're, we're trying to kind of change the perception around the chamber so where people don't view us as a charity since we, we do ask for sponsorships quite often for the different events that we're able to host. Uh, but we, we're a networking facility, a, a business association um, providing all these different options and opportunities for our member businesses and then also just to the community as a whole a lot of the things that we do are open to the public um, whether it be ticketed a little bit higher than what our members are offered but it, it is available to the public as well now this is now year number one you've done a full year around the the sun <laughs> <laughs> uh, February right mm -hmm. February 23rd marks your year and we're about a year and a day a uh, year and a week or so into that yeah. so tell me like you know what what are some of the things that you you know when they say I hit the ground running or this is what I want to implement what have you been successful at doing within your first year so we well, I carried over the markets with me from leaving the city the two markets came with me to the chamber so we have a spring market which we actually have one coming up and then we have um, the Mistletoe and Moss Market, which is usually the Saturday following Thanksgiving, which is Small Business Saturday. So we want to represent all the small businesses in the area. We're bringing Lemonade Day, which is something new. Um, it is a national program that other chambers host. So that, this will be our first attempt at it, mm -hmm. uh, and we're very excited. And I think it's something that will grow. We brought back Annual Banquet, and a lot of it's really just bringing back programs that have been tried through the year and trying years and trying to rework them to where they fit the needs of the community now. Yeah, and we all know Donna Meyer was actually the president and due to an untimely uh, passing away, uh, she, you know, that position became open. Um, and I know there were documents and files about everywhere. Mm -hmm. are, were those files um, helpful or are you just trying to fill in the gaps? of what happened, what what did she do, what did they do, you know, because the, there's a staff as well. Yeah, so Miss Iris is on the West End and she really handles her own things on the West End and when we call her in for certain things, she's able to help us, but she wasn't really involved on a lot of the things that were planned on this end until the day of the event when she's there to help. Uh, but as far as the files go, we have looked back through quite a few things to try to make sure we're not missing important details or see how things were done and then either improve if it needs to be improved or go back and kind of just copy what was already there. A lot of things, of course, we're kind of recreating after the pandemic anyway. So it's the staff on the this end of the parish's first time for a lot of things. Yeah, all of you guys are really new, yeah. right at a year, right? <laughs> or Well, maybe a little more for yeah. Leslie. Miss so Leslie's been mm -hmm. there a little longer, but yeah. uh, came in right at the beginning of COVID, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you guys are really kind of putting feelers out there. And But are, would you say you're making it work? Absolutely, we work really, really well together, uh, like a well-oiled machine, mm -hmm. as they say, and we're finding our own way. And I think recreating things in a positive light and like I said, really listening to what the community needs and trying to fill those gaps. Okay. Well, how do you feel now that you've gotten your feet wet within that year? 
I will never say that I'm finished learning. I think it's always going to be a learning experience. Um, I feel good. You know, I think we've accomplished a good bit in this first year, especially bringing back the annual banquet was one of our big accomplishments that we were nervous about because we didn't know a lot of things as far as where we would be able to host and such. But I feel I feel good and confident okay. about the future. Sounds good. We're going to take a short break, but come on back right here on The Voice of the Coast. We are talking to Beth Chaffon, president of St. Mary Chamber of Commerce. Welcome back to the Voice of the Coast. Again, I am your host, Denise, along with me, the president of St. Mary Chamber of Commerce, Beth Chasson. So we talked about there are lots of benefits that, you know, businesses who new and old, especially some small businesses, because mm -hmm. I think small businesses, they are the heartbeat of America, as they call it. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of businesses opening all the time. Yes. Um, and so for those who are saying, well, I want to get myself a brick and mortar right now, um, We'll talk about that too, brick and mortar, and we'll get into that as well. What are some of the benefits? What are, like, if you can single, single out some of those benefits, and what do they do? So we just restarted the Lunch and Learns, um, offering educational opportunities, and we're going to cover a variety of different subjects. Uh, the one that we did on the 23rd of March was covering, like, a deep dive into Facebook marketing, and we partnered with Garisco Marketing, who's one of our members. And we'll try to utilize different members, businesses mm -hmm. to offer these. Um, and lunch and learns are typically around lunchtime. Around so is lunchtime. it about an hour? It's an hour. Typically, we supply lunch, of course, for those that are in attendance. We did offer Zoom option this go round. What we'll probably do in the future is just offer a recording if it's wanted afterwards. Uh, but we plan to cover different subjects, like I said, um, we're probably going to do one with the tax office for people who are interested in possibly starting a business, mm -hmm. um, something along the lines of economic development or even banking. We have a couple of the banks that are interested in helping us out, mm -hmm. you know, get the word out what's available for people trying to start a business. Right. And then, of course, you have your business after hours, which mm -hmm. I will tell you is my favorite because anytime they're held at any type of hotels, like there's one in town, and they always give away a room. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm just going to put it out there because, you know, it's my thing. And I say, I'm going to win something. I'm going to win something. And by golly, I do. I bring home something. So I find them to be you know, pretty well attended, especially for some that are that are held annually, because there's mm -hmm. some that are held in conjunction yes. with uh, events that are held um, in the around the same time. Like yes. we have the Bayou Barbecue Bash, we have uh, the Soul Fest. So those are pretty well attended. But tell us more about the the business after hours. We are going to try to bring business after hours back. It probably won't be a monthly situation, but we are going to try to add a few into the calendar as well as the ones you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, those are used as kickoffs to an event that's coming, but we do want to be able to showcase some businesses and give them the opportunity to showcase their location. You know, that's what it's all about is getting people to cross over their threshold and go yeah. into the business. It's very good for networking. And mm -hmm. I think another opportunity for networking that is held just about monthly, um, it's the luncheons as well as the breakfast. Uh, yes. The breakfasts are typically the legislative wrap up breakfasts, yes. but typically it's a luncheon around lunchtime. So tell us about those and how do you're able to acquire those, those guests? We host a luncheon every month um, on either end of the parish. It's either at the Petroleum Club in Morgan City or the Forest in Franklin. And we have a variety of different guest speakers, um, anywhere from our local mayors, which will actually be our one coming up in April to give kind of an update on their cities. And then we've had um, Speaker of the House, Lieutenant Governor. Um, we've had, of course, our senator and representatives there and different people. We have Mr. Mike Strain come, the Agriculture Commissioner. Um, so those are great networking opportunities. and you know, anybody's welcome for them. We have a special rate for our members and then there's a rate for people who are not members as well if they'd right. like to be, be there. And let's talk about the ribbon cuttings and grand openings. Now, I will tell you something that I learned. I thought you had to be a member in order to have those opportunities to have a ribbon cutting or a grand opening, and that is not true. That is not true. We offer uh, ribbon cuttings and grand openings to anyone who is really interested in having them for their brick and mortar location. We even have, I've actually talked to a business recently that doesn't have a brick and mortar, but and still, wants to have, okay, yeah. still wants to do a ribbon cutting. And there's a couple options for that. 
whether if they have a special location they'd like to host, or it's a possibility that we can start doing them at the chamber office uh, and give them the opportunity to showcase what they have to offer. That would probably be really best for a lot of the businesses that are part of the markets, because a lot of those um, vendors do not have brick and mortar Correct. options. So mm -hmm. this is very good to know that you still can have a ribbon cutting or a grand opening but not necessarily have the actual brick and mortar yes. um, uh, business location. So we're going to take a break, but come on back. There's a couple more um, uh, benefits that, that be, can be offered to the public. So come on back right here on the Voice of the Coast. All right, welcome back to the Voice of the Coast, Beth Chasson, who is the president of St. Mary Chamber of Commerce. Now, we were going through a list of all the benefits, and we want to make sure, because I'm telling you, there's some things that I guarantee folks did not know um, that the chamber handled, and particularly that the, the grand openings and ribbon cuttings. I, for one, have lived here for a little while now, thought it was only just for businesses who are already members. Like you become a member and say, okay, by this day, we're gonna do a ribbon cutting, mm -hmm. I sign the papers, but it's open to just about anybody. It's open With to the anyone, hopes of gaining yeah. them as we a member. We hope so, yeah, you know, yeah. we, we try to get our foot in the door and, you know, but we wanna welcome everyone in the business community. Yeah, yeah it is about economic and development. Celebrate it, yeah. Okay, uh, then there's also um, rental listings. My goodness, yeah. uh, just talking to you before we went up on air, I mentioned that, you know, when the paper was as daily as it used to be, that was the location sometimes to get your rental listing. But when I moved here, I was like, okay, there's got to be more. And Chamber, you guys do that. That's mm -hmm. quite, um, that's interesting, yeah. I should say. It's not something that a lot of Chambers do, yeah. but uh, it, it is something we get a lot of foot traffic into the office every day for for those and then we give them usually a bag of goodies kind of mm -hmm. the directory and advertising for different businesses and such so but we we have it available on the website and we update it as often as if someone calls us to put something in it you know mm -hmm. we do have a fee to be able to be listed in it per month right. or we have members that list things in it that own rental companies right uh, so we update it as often as people call yeah. and and it's Pretty also, it's happen. rental homes and apartments, mm -hmm. also commercial listings. Yes. Okay. Uh, something else that uh, that is, I think, uh, ongoing, but you've changed the dates of when you release them, and that's the, the blasts, mm -hmm. the same, uh, parish blasts, how do you call them? What's ha it's like what's around the parish. Yes, right, <laughs> right. So tell me more about that. So one of the things uh, that I've heard complaints of, I guess, was that people were getting too many emails from the chamber. So they weren't they stopped looking at them because it was just too much coming through. So just recently in this year, we uh, really changed. We have on Mondays, we do chamber news and events. And then on Thursdays, we do all the events happening around the parish to keep people up to date. And you don't have to be a member to be in the blast. Uh, just send us the information and we'll put it in there. And then if you want something advertised singular, mm -hmm. we, we do have an advertising rate for that that we offer. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then there's the directory. Mm -hmm. um, so who is, you know, privy to this directory and how do you get your hands on it and who's included? We have, of course, an abundance of them at the office. Mm -hmm. When we get them, we send them out to all of our members, of course. And then we also drop them off to locations that people would visit like tourists would visit. So Cajun Coast usually get some, our hotels usually get them. Um, Mr. D's usually has them, but it, it has all the information. It's a relocation guide. Right. So if anyone's interested, you know, in moving to the area, mm -hmm. all the information that they would really need is there. And I guarantee folks who live here, I, I have run into many. I have run into those who are at least 80 years old who say, I never knew <laughs> but there was an art gallery here. Yeah. You would be surprised. Mm -hmm. So so it definitely is not just for the newbies, for those who are just relocating. There's a lot of good information, um, especially about each of the, the town cities in yes. St. Mary Parish. All of them are listed and their resources are listed in there. Uh, Trinisha is actually working on an update right now. We're working on the directory to come out for this year. So. Okay. So the one for 2023 hasn't been released just yet? It hasn't been released just yet. It's usually beginning of summer when okay. we release it. Um, and this year we're doing a cover contest for the, the cover for a okay. photo 
we put it out there to accept photos from the community and somebody will win and get their, their cover, of course, on the, their picture on the front and then we'll, we'll do a write up about them on the inside too. Okay, so what, what are the requirements for something like that? Uh, we really want something that represents the entire area mm -hmm. more culturally than, um, like we don't necessarily want just a picture of the bridges or a picture of the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. or we want something that's representative of all of St. Mary Parish, whether it be the food that we eat, the people, mm -hmm. or, you know, something that just represents Something everyone. that says St. Mary Parish. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> come on back. We've got one more segment to go with Beth Chasson. Thank you for being here because, look, there's a lot more we've learned within that year. Mm -hmm. So come on back right here in the Voice of the Coast. Welcome back. Now this might be the part where you've been waiting for because you want to know what type of events, what's going on in the area. So we'll take it one by one. But first, I've got some more information I want to get out of this lady here, Beth Chasson, who's the president of St. Mary Chamber of Commerce. So I want to know, you know, you say we promote economic development. Well, we know there's an economic development office um, within St. Mary Parish. Mm -hmm. How do you work collect, you know, together or do you work together with that office? We do work closely together with the office. Uh, we try to navigate and help people find their way to that office to be able to ask the certain questions that they need answered. Um, and really just help guide people in what direction they need to be going in and be a stepping stone of sorts in, at the chamber. Mm -hmm. uh, I can answer questions, you know, more typically for historic downtowns because of my background with Main Street. But other than that, we do direct them to the Parish Economic Development Office. Do you get more questions that say, how do I start a business? Surprisingly, no. Okay. Um, there are questions in reference, I guess, that kind of go along the lines of what's available from your banks as far as oh. loans to start a business wow. or what's available okay. from, like, how do I start with the tax office? How oh. do I register? Things like that. And I know a lot of that information is also included in the directory. Mm -hmm. Okay, We so have a how to start a business page yeah, in our directory. <laughs> which is definitely a reason to pick up that directory, even if you are a native or resident of this community. So let's go to some of the upcoming events. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, we have ribbon cuttings that that's automatic and you have quite a few that come up often make sure to subscribe to them and i'll take this moment to tell people to subscribe to saint mary chamber of commerce and you'll have all of that information mm -hmm. available so would you say there are a lot more ribbon cuttings like you guys are seeing more more and more people like want to showcase their business yeah i think people are in the mood to celebrate you know their life in general and that they're proud of themselves for opening a business and really want the community to share in that pride with them yeah now you mentioned about the spring market that mm -hmm. is coming up in april what's the date on that we have that is april 1st oh and really uh, we also have on that's april 1st birthday. oh really <laughs> april fool's day yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> we have on april 1st as well is uh bayou de maine yep. and franklin yeah so that is great because you can go all across the parish mm -hmm. and i love having a day full of events where I'm able to go from one, like I don't want to just do one thing and what's it, what else is there to do? You know, <laughs> yeah, no, you can let's, hop let's from one go, or the other. Yeah, right. So you have, you start off in Franklin, come to Morgan mm -hmm. City, start off in Morgan City, go to Franklin. Yeah, they're nine o'clock to two o'clock and we're 11 o'clock to four o'clock. So there's time to do both. Awesome. And then of course there's, uh, we have our luncheons and, and, and also those that are that folks really want to attend. We have our legislative wrap up breakfast mm -hmm. because that involves our local leaders, uh, like our senator and our representatives. And then of course you have the one with our mayors. Yes. Um, people want to know what's going on in the area. So that's definitely highly attended. Lemonade day, you already mentioned. And mm -hmm. then of course, education banquet where you, uh, uh, the, the, the chamber gives away scholarships. Yes. Right. We give away a scholarship to a graduating senior from every high school in the parish every year. Those applications are due on the 31st. Oh. Um, so the education banquet allows us to continue raising funds to be able to continue that scholarship program. Something we didn't get a chance to talk about, we'll take a little bit moment to talk about leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership, uh, t very quickly, what is leadership? Leadership is an opportunity for, of course, people to network, but it's a group that we have, I didn't put it together, but it's a group that, mm -hmm. you know, different chambers have of people who are interested in being part of something in the community and leading it in a better direction, hence the name leadership. You mm -hmm. know, you really learn skills while you're in it and you get to network with a lot of different uh, 
people in the area, different businesses working together, and you make a lot of connections that really last a long time. Yes. Now, there is a fee to be a part of it, but mm -hmm. you offer a payment plan. We do. You can pay monthly now to be, mm -hmm. a, to be part of leadership. Uh, also, if companies sponsor, they automatically get to send someone through. Okay. One thing about um, leadership, it's not just to St. Mary Parish. There are lots mm -hmm. of parishes that, um, that engage in leadership yes. type of uh, year-long programs. And for us, it's actually a two-year, correct? We, it's actually back to one year. They okay. did a two-year following COVID, mm. but it's actually back to one year. Okay. So, so every year, and typically... You host about 20 people, but this That's year's class goal. is about 13? Yes, mm -hmm. it's a more intimate class. Got it, right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being Absolutely. here. Um, you know, as always, you are very much welcome to come back and we'd like to get an update, maybe your two-year mark. We'll see how that goes. Sounds thank good. you, and thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you guys next time.